So, hello. <laughs> Me and Owen are off doing something exciting because we haven't stayed in a hotel in... So it's been over a year since we've stayed in a hotel, which is something we would have done previously, like very regularly. Like we've, we would have gone away in Ireland very regularly and stayed in hotels. And yeah, we haven't done it since September 2020. So we're off to a hotel, but it's not just any hotel. It's a five star hotel. And yeah, it's actually really close to where we live. So we're on our way there now. And I suppose we'll take you along. You know, when I was younger, I used to get nervous going like anywhere. Does that happen to you? Never know. Like, even if I was like... I think you mix nervous and excitement sometimes, I think. No, like even if I was going to the cinema with my friends, I have such a bad pain in my tummy. Like, I don't much of a pain out of excitement. Like, me and my friend used to be going on nights out, we used to call it our going out pains. Because we'd be so nervous, we'd both be like lying on the floor before nights out and stuff. I was always destined to have an anxiety disorder. <laughs> I just, like... <laughs> it all makes sense. At that sense. point in my life, I would have been getting something. <laughs> Jesus. But I won't be nervous as soon as we go in. Then I'm just gonna enjoy myself. haven't looked at anything yet so that I can do a room tour so welcome to the what's this room called the carb luxury suite welcome come in so this is the room it's fucking unreal and if you come over here we're having dinner in this train carriage tonight which is actually an original carriage from the Orient Express I mean, I think that's unreal. Have you seen the Orient Express movie, Mer Merge on the Orient Express? No? It's a great movie, and we're gonna be eating on it. The train carriage. Okay. So this is a lovely room. Here's more. You know, I'm not very good at these uh, room tours. This is very... <laughs> <laughs> right. Follow me anyway. We've got a little, a little kitchen here. Oh, unreal. We were just saying that we should have gone and got snacks, but it's fine. Owen. Oh god. I don't know what this is, but I bet it's nice. I feel like, I, like I'm like a little excited child and I should never have been allowed in this room in the first place. Anyway, what's in here? Our freaking robes and slippers. <laughs> Excited. Oh, look at this. Glenn Lott Abbey. What would they do if we took them? Charge it. Oh shit, okay. We won't do that, so we leave them where they are. <laughs> Guess this is the bathroom. Where's the light? It's our lovely marble bathroom. I'm a bit weird, I'm like, why on the camera so much? This is our bathroom. We got all the things that you need in the bathroom, but most importantly, we have a bath. Me and Owen have been talking about this bath for days. So, you know, we're going to be, we're going to be making the most out of that in a while after dinner, I would say. So, yeah, that's the room anyway. Have a nice time. <laughs> so, yeah, that's our room. That's the, the car of luxury suite. Did I, I've never even said where we're staying. No. We're in the Glenlow Abbey in Galway. <laughs> Other than the, the ropes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Until you get all your beauty shots. I've ordered Owen to get out of the way, so he's just sitting in the hallway for a few minutes. My initial um, ch 
childlike level of excitement has passed now. We've been here a while. <laughs> Um, our initial plan for today was to like be here for a while, have our dinner and then maybe go into town for the Christmas markets but actually I feel like this is a pretty snazzy hotel and we thought we might as well just stay and actually enjoy the hotel so we're just going to stay here for the whole night, enjoy the room, enjoy the the hotel and yeah. Chill the F out. Chill the F out and of course have a bath. So yeah that's the plan. This is a serious hotel though, so we are in the Glenlow Abbey in Galway and they've got so much stuff around here, so they've got a golf course on the grounds, they have like falconry, there is a like driving range, there is a spa which I'm taking full advantage of tomorrow. What else is there? I don't know, the grounds are massive anyway, a lot bigger than I thought because like I said we drive by all the time but it's obviously hard to see it from the road over the wall but the grounds are massive. Just very excited to get my dinner now. I'm absolutely starving. Talk about your experience in the cocktail bar. Yeah, it was nice. No, oh, sit. Yeah, go. I went to a bar and had a drink. <laughs> no, you were just talking about it a minute ago and you were saying how lovely yeah, it was. It was really nice. You were I saying if you were out. rich, you'd go there all the time. Oh, if I had like all the money in the world and was at hotels all the time, it was just a really nice, just chill. And maybe it's just because I like being alone. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> no. no, it was just nice. No, I just sat and ordered a pint. Was there many people in there? No, it was just me. Just you. There was actually <gasps> a couple came in and sat down about two seats away from me for a bit and then they got up and left. You should probably sanitise. Well, like I'd imagine they'd do that down there. But then you touched stuff on the way back. I touched the glass that he gave me and I touched the door into our room. Yeah. <laughs> the stuff you touched as well. I sanitised before I went to bed. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, more importantly, what do you think is going to be on the dinner menu? I'm going to absolutely fill my bill. We're off for dinner. magical looking inside. I mean it looks magical from the outside so yeah really really cool. Right so we had our dinner in the train. It was an experience, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> yes, it was an experience, yeah. The train itself was fucking fantastic, uh, by the way. Honest, the whole thing was enjoyable, I thought. I don't know. Like, I thought the train was lovely. Like, I loved that whole aspect of it. I just felt super, like, uncomfortable. Like, I shouldn't be there. Like, I'm just not, like, pot it's posh an offensive word to say. No, not posh, it's just... Basically... I've never been in that snazzy of a place before, so I felt a bit like weird and out of place. And because the, the food itself was like, what are those, you know, them like Michelin star restaurants where it's like literally like a leaf on a plate. It was yeah. very similar vibes. It was say, definitely... Like, what you've got to realise about Sarah, Sarah's a person that's very set in her ways. When I... it comes to like food and stuff, you like what you like. Well, yeah, I'm just not that adventurous yeah, at food. Yeah, try things. And to be fair, I had things there tonight that I didn't like. Like, I know I don't like raw salmon now. <laughs> Um, and then as well as that, I found stuff that I did enjoy. Like I always wanted to try monkfish and I had it and it was lovely. Like it, it was good food, but maybe yeah. I don't think maybe we have the same appreciation for it. That being said, the dessert 
was fantastic. I'm not sure saying that about the place. Like, I feel like the waiting staff were lovely. Oh, yeah. Like, Did I we? don't think, like, I thought they were, like, and they seemed, like, down to earth and grand and, like... Oh, yeah, no, they definitely were. Because like, I thought she was lovely. Like, even even with other people I could hear in the background. Oh, yeah, so chatty and friendly. To be no, who no. She wasn't, you know? That's what I mean. I'm not trying to say it wasn't, like, yeah. a nice vibe or anything. I'm just saying, like, for me, that kind of food isn't food that I would enjoy eating. But, anyway, she sold me on the dessert and she was, like, telling me how lovely it was and it's her favourite dessert. So I got it and she was fucking right. It was like this chocolate mousse. Now Owen's around the bath. It's absolutely pink. You're hard. still That's not in your be. robe. I'll not, I'll not be in my robe. I don't wear robes. But you have to. I just be, just let me be comfortable in my own way. But you'll be so comfortable in a robe. Please just put it on. I feel like you'd be so happy if you put it on. I'm happy now. Imagine being happier. How can you not want to have no clothes on and be wearing a robe? Because my clothes fit me all right, and they stretch, and I'm comfortable. Oh, and it's time to come look at the cool top. Yeah, look. I'm just doing like that, it's for the tub. When you flick it up like that, it's a shower. <laughs> That's why you call me in here. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, wait a minute. Come soon. Oh my god, they're really good bubbles very hectic and while trying to playfully blow bubbles in Owen's face I accidentally inhaled them and nearly choked to death in the bath. Okay so I want to make sure I utilise the whole room so I've moved on to the couch now and I'm just thinking right staying at a hotel every now and again is so important and I really recommend it because when I'm at home and I'm on my day off or I'm doing nothing I'm still thinking about everything I should be doing so like yeah I'm sitting on the couch watching Netflix but I'm thinking in the back of my mind like oh I should be editing this or I have 20 blog posts I want to write or I should mop the floor like whatever it is so like, you're not really relaxing but in here there's nothing else I can do like I'm just sitting here doing nothing but it's fine I don't feel guilty about it because there's nothing else I can do in here so it's great just chilling out doing sweet F.A. in his robe <laughs> isn't it amazing so it's late now i think we can safely say that we definitely made the most of being in this room and i'm absolutely fucked so i'm going to sleep <laughs> On our way home, we've come to Menlo Castle for a walk and we met this chubby little boy and he's so friendly. Road out Clifton. That's too far to do. Like. No, it's all flatlands here. Oh, and darling. Yeah. Would you like some tea? <laughs> this fantastic little woods here right by Loch Carrub and our little buddy has decided to come with us for the walk <laughs> didn't ya? Right, so we're back in the car we it's been a long day and I just haven't filmed anything but basically 
we got up this morning and made breakfast and I actually really really wanted to film the dining room because it was so nice it like a massive Christmas tree um but you know it was very quiet in there especially with COVID I didn't want to be walking around filming stuff so I didn't but it was really really nice um after that we walked around the grounds again lovely and then I went for my spa treatments which was absolutely the highlight of our stay for me probably not for you I didn't have one <laughs> yeah I'm saying, got to chill in the car I got to go to the spa it was amazing I had a back massage and I had a facial my skin feels incredible it was so relaxing like I would probably go back there again just to go to like the spa part it was really nice but overall stay was great hotel was fantastic and impeccably decorated for christmas by the way like they had serious christmas decorations i don't think i filmed a lot of that either you know what i don't really know what i filmed probably not much that was our five star hotel experience okay right chat to you after Um, Owen's just back from his lovely pint. I'm oh, sorry, I want to send an email message. Oh. One second. Not of me in the bed. Say hello to email. Oh my god, I'm not decent. <laughs> You're dressed. <laughs> you know, like, not really. So guilty good. pleasure. That's my guilty pleasure, yeah, yeah. Like that fart, fart simulator is my guilty pleasure, I will say. It's like, <laughs> I enjoy it, like I just enjoy it. It's like.